Beers had a nice week. She had a great week. Uh, one of, well, easily the best I've seen her play. And that was all over the board, whether it was defensive assignments or her offensive efficiency, all of it was awesome. Uh, I mean, is, is that because of this week that she had, is that something you kind of got to, you know, ride her coattails moving forward, maybe going into the Big West tournament a little bit? Well, I think people have keyed on her pretty much for the whole year. She's definitely hit her stride. It's all the other things, I think, that have uh, made her successful. And last week, you know, it was the whole team, how we were playing together, uh, that I was really happy with. It was when we faced St. Mary's, who's uh, maybe one of the best teams on our schedule this season besides Oregon State, uh, I thought when we took them into overtime that we had the makings of a, a really, really good team. And for whatever reason, it didn't necessarily materialize in conference play the way we had hoped it would. But uh, last week was the closest we came to kind of looking that same way, where there was a lot of confidence on the court and uh, good efficiency offensively. Uh, did a great job taking care of the basketball. Just pretty much all the cylinders were firing at the same time. So it was, it was a much more fun week. Uh, certainly nerve wracking to be down at Fullerton with a couple minutes to go and Sanchez comes up with a big three to get us a little bit closer to the lead and then um, taking the lead and then being able to knock down free throws, secure the win. Uh, so now at, at home this week, uh, you know, we, we talked about the seniors, uh, Santa Barbara on the uh, Blue Green Rivalry. Just, just kind of uh, talk about the seniors and, and, and kind of the roles they've played this year and, you know, how big they've been in, in leading the team. Well, we have five seniors that'll be, uh, that we'll be sending off on Saturday. Uh, two right now are getting the playing time. We have two that are injured and then Heather Madrigal's uh, been an instrumental part of our scout team and uh, doing some great things for our program. So uh, we'll be sending all five off, but uh, both Lisa, Marie Sanchez, and Beth Valbeers, who are in our starting lineup, I certainly uh, expect and anticipate that they're going to be fired up for this game and uh, try to put us back in the win column. Um, kind of, you talked about how well you guys are clicking this week and again, winding down Big West. Uh, do, do you tweak anything? Do you, do you kind of look back at those films this, this last week and say, oh, we did this really well, we need to, we need to keep doing that? Or, or oh, absolutely. It it's all about the adjustments that you can make. And certainly, you know, we lost uh, Rachel Kaler, who was a really big part of our, our forward contingency, um, and she's still out with concussion. So we've probably lost her for the whole season. We'll, we're still kind of waiting to see on her. But it's kind of dipped into our – our post uh, fouls that we can offer at the moment. And uh, it's meaning that we've had to move Lynn LaPepe into more of a, a forward role rather than necessarily just a guard position. And uh, she's doing a super job, but um, you know, we needed to be able to do something to survive. Um, and so we've made those kind of tweaks and it does take a little while to get used to. And Amanda Lovely is coming off the bench for us right now and doing a fabulous job in that role. So there's a lot of things that we've had to tweak along the way as we've dealt with different um, losses in our personnel. But uh, I like how the team's playing right now. she got three challenging games left here, yeah. don't you? Yeah, all the teams that are above us in conference play. And uh, certainly I felt like Long Beach State, they play so aggressively. They'll change up their defense pretty much every time up the court. They constantly keep you off balance. Um, they do a fantastic job. They are very aggressive, athletic. And uh, so if we can do a good job of ball control, then we give ourselves a decent shot at that game. We were up for three quarters of the game. Even with 29 turnovers against them, we were still in the game until you know just the tail end of the game uh, at their place. And um, that was our first game without Kaler. So um, hopefully we continue to improve and taking care of the basketball. And then certainly the Santa Barbara game, that was our opener in conference play at their place. And I sure hope that we've come a, a distance from where we were then. Uh, I sort of feel that way. And I'm sure they have come quite a distance in their development as well. So should be two great games. And uh, hopefully everybody in the Central Coast come out and watch and support the women. Yeah, you got a big promotion for the game uh, Saturday, don't you? With yeah. Rotary. Yeah, the Rotary uh, 
you know, one of their big causes is to fight polio worldwide, and it's uh, we're asking the Rotary, every member of Rotary, to come out to the game. They're going to do a little bit of a fundraiser for polio, and so they'll have a little free throw shooting contest right after the game. So there's a lot of things to support uh, our women on the court, and certainly the cause that uh, Rotary has worldwide. Thank you. Mm -hmm.